Hello friends, welcome to the 11th tutorial of the Salesforce from scratch to advanced course. In this video, we will learn how to create a create and insert a new record using the Apex. If I ask you to create a new record, you can say you can simply go to the user interface, and then click on new and you can create the new record by entering the field values. So let's learn how to do it using Apex language. First of all, we will go to the setup gear icon, clicking on developer console. Let's create a new Apex class, clicking on new Apex class. Let's name our class account record class. So now the Apex class is created. Now we will create a method public static void. Let's name the method account method. So this is called the main method. So in this method, what we will do, we will call the other method. So let's see how to call the other method. First of all, let's create another another method. Let's public static void. Let's name this method DML method. Now how to call a method inside other main method. This is the way you have to just copy paste this line. So what is happening here this is the main method and this is the way to call this method inside the main method so whenever this main method runs this method will be called and will automatically all the code which is written here will be automatically run so let's learn how to create a new account record using apex as we are talking about account record so first of all we have to create a thing called s object we have to create an account s object creating account as object. So how to create account as object? This is the procedure. You have to write account ACC new account. So what does this line mean? This account this is the S object type as we are creating uh, a subject for account. So this is the S object type. This is the variable which is representing the S object. And this is the way to create a new instance of the S object. So this is the ACC is the variable which is representing our S object. Now we'll, we will assign the values of the field in the S object. So all the fields, let me show you on user interface, all the fields of the account object like account name, website, account number, all the fields can be called in this S object and values can be assigned. So let's assign the value for account name. And one more thing, you have to write the API name. So you can see it's written account name here, but the API name for this field is name. So we will use the word name. So also we can also assign the type. Let's assign the type as well using apex first of all let's assign the name so let me name it anirudh garg this is the name of the new account record also let's assign the type and let's assign it prospecting customer so now what has happened is we have created a new subject and we have assigned the value of the records for the particular fields now the first step that is creation of a new account record is done using apex but how to insert this record into our user interface that means here so currently you can see there are 12 records 12 account records here so how to insert the 13th one using the apex so in this case we will use a thing called insert statement which is a dml operation so we will say insert and the name of the subject is ACC. So insert ACC. So what does this line do? This line will insert this S object with the field name, name, type with the following values and create it in the front end. That is a user interface. Clicking on control plus S to save the data. And we are calling this method which contains the creation of new record and inserting operation 
in the main method this is the main method as I have told you earlier as well and this is how we are calling it here clicking going to debug open execute anonymous window and then as I have told you earlier as well the name of the class name of the apex class dot notation the name of the main method which is the upper method so what does this is doing this is calling the main method and the main method in the inside the main method we are calling the DML method so all these things will be done clicking on execute clicking on debug only you can see nothing is visible here because we haven't we haven't debugged anything we haven't used the system dot debug statement we have just used a DML operation to add the new record to the user interface now let's go to the user interface clicking on refresh what you will see is the 13th record is created now here you can clearly see earlier there were 12 records but now there are 13 records so the new record let's click on edit to know more about it this is the account name which I have specified using apex coding this is the type which I have specified using the coding part so this is the way to create a new record using apex now let me tell you one more thing in this way we are creating a single record we are at creating a single record and then adding it to the user interface but what if I ask you I want to create around 10 to 20 records 10 to 20 account records and add them at once in the user interface that means the front end so how will you proceed then what do you have uh, by this method what do you have to do we have to create 10 uh, s objects and then uh, with different name different ACC 1 2 3 and then assign the uh, record values and then uh, we have to use uh, this DML statement around 10 to 20 times so which is not a good way this way is uh, okay when we want to create a single record but how to proceed if you want to create multiple records then in the up in upcoming videos we will learn how to do this adding the multiple records using lists so, so let me tell you in brief what we will do is we will create an empty list we will assign an empty list and then add these s objects that is this s object acc into the list and then at the end after adding all these s objects around 10 to 20 s objects suppose at the end what we will do we will instead of inserting this s object we will insert the list suppose the name of the list is insert uh, account list so we will insert the list containing all the s objects so this is the way and the reason is to follow this process is because this insert dml operation there is a limitation of around 120 i think because uh, there are governor limits as well we can't use this insert operation around an infinite times there is a limitation there is a boundary so we have to use this as minimum as possible so for this we will insert the list instead of s object also if i if you you may ask that this is not practically possible to create around 10 to 20 objects by this way by creating a new s object and then assigning the values so in the upcoming video we will also learn how to do this by using for loops so in the for loops we will create multiple records multiple s objects using the looping iteration so this was all about today's lecture thanks a lot and don't forget to subscribe for the upcoming videos updates also i am sharing you my linkedin profile link you can follow me on linkedin as well you can search by anirudh garg sim uh, simply on uh, linkedin or you can go to this url so thanks a lot